folks, it's Lady D. Welcome back. It is Thursday the 9th. Um, last, yesterday, the last couple of days have been a really weird energy days. Um, I know I haven't felt good. It's been up and down. And um, also I've been doing a parasite cleanse by eating pumpkin seeds. So if anyone, I just want to give people fair warning that if you do a parasite cleanse, if you eat pumpkin seeds or if you do a more intense parasite cleanse, be prepared to not feel well. Be prepared to be depressed and anxious and to um, actually, you know, feel tired and fatigued. Because when the parasites are dying off, they release all their, they release hormones and they release all of their dying hormones and they're, you know, you're going to feel them dying. So you're going to feel fatigued and like a truck hit you. And you and they'll also, when they're dying, they're going to release um, sadness and anxiety and depression. So that happened to me. So fair warning, I parasite cleanses are great. I, I, you know, I recommend them and everyone should do them. However, just know that if you plan on doing it, take a few days off so you don't have to do anything. Do it on the weekend if you work during the week. Um, or just, you know, be prepared when you start it for couple of days you're going to be out of commission because it literally kicks your butt okay anyways I did a um I did my prayers I did my um my protection and I pulled nine cards to f find out what the soul tribe has in store for this weekend okay so this weekend we got so A lot of focus on money. Look at all of those pentacles. Pentacles, pentacles. So there's going to be a focus on material matters. We're going to be focusing on long-term success, long-term monitor, monitor, excuse me, monetary matters, money, business, because here we go. So the seven, the seven of pentacles right here is look at he's looking at his pentacles, okay? He's gathering all of his information. He's looking at long-term goals. He's trying to figure out how he's going to pay the bills. So this is focusing on money, business, long-term goals, contracts, trying long-term monetary and, you know, material matters. And this is the Ten of Cups. So there's going to be some good, some good news when it comes to money, money and monetary matters because money is completion. And we have the Ten of Cups. Ten of, excuse me, the Ten of Pentacles here. So there's going to be a lot of good money and monetary things coming this week. And also when it comes to family members. So I don't know if we're going to be, um, if there's going to be some inheritances, inheritances, I can't speak, um, or somebody in your family is going to be giving you money. But that's security, that's abundance, that's happiness and wealth in terms of family. And this is also the children, the family, nostalgia card. So I have a feeling that we're going to be, a lot of families are going to be getting money. There's going to be inheritances. Um, maybe maybe after tax season, people are going to give you some money. But this is a great, great card in terms of money, especially within family. So if you're worried about, you know, how you're going to pay the bills, if you're worrying about your family, about business matters, if there's uh, issues with, any type of business in family or any type of material or money matters when it comes to business and family it's going to be successful now we're going to have a little a couple of bumps in the road but that's okay we'll get through it so there are going to be those that are going to be focusing on their businesses this coming weekend and unfortunately there's going to be some setbacks there's going to be some heartache some betrayals some some bumps in the road soul tribe because the card in the middle right here that's the card of long-term goals and success that's somebody that's looking out and trying to figure out situations that's exploring it's the card of um planning so you might have there might be some bumps in the road and some heartaches in regards to plans some long-term plans um maybe you were trying to start a new business maybe you were planning a trip However, there is going to be some betrayals this week. Um, there are going to be some setbacks, but that's okay. After you get the setbacks, after you go through the betrayals, the end result is that it's going to be okay. There are going to be some celebrations. So hold on to your hats. 
There might be some setbacks and bumps in the road, but you're going to have some celebrations as well. And the success is ending. The success will happen in the end. And the final final is that, wow, after you've been through kind of a bumpy ride, a hell week, you're in a really good position because this card right here is somebody that has been through the battles. He's he's a little forlorn, um, a little bit battle weary because he's fought, but ever. But however, he is in a great position. Look at he's actually in a higher position than all the people below him. Look at how he's off the high here. He's he's on top here. And not only is <clears throat> excuse me, not only is this person in a great position, he's in a different position. He's in a a, a, a very unusual position, but it's a good position. A position where he hasn't been before. And he's this position is something a position that he's worked very hard for. He's literally fought battles for, um, and it's a really good position. So very unusual. So don't be surprised if by the end of the week to some really different, unusual positions that our soul tribers are going to be in. And this is the card of collaboration. So we are going to be collaborating with um, our loved ones and maybe even some business partnerships. So this is a great collaboration card. And the final, final business opportunities. Good news. You're going to get a message in regards to material wealth and abundance. You're also going to get an offer because look at that page. It's, it's literally presenting you a pentacle. So there's going to be some offers, some good news. Um, you know, pages, it's nascent because pages are young and you know everything's new. But there's going to be some nascent beginnings in material matters and material abundance and money. So a recap this week, Soul Tribe. It's all going to be focused on 3D from Thursday up through next Thursday, okay? There's going to be a lot of focus on material matters, businesses, 3D things, you know, wealth, abundance, um, focusing on long-term goals, focusing on how we're going to make ends meet in the long term, making plans, enterprises. There is going to be some bumps in the road. There are going to be a little bit of betrayals, but that's okay. You'll get through the betrayals. You'll get through the backstabbing because once you get backstabbed and betrayed, you know that you learn with every every negative every negative instance. You learn and you move forward, and you know who your real friends are, and you just learn. Okay. And also, I wanted to focus too this week on um, I see on the comments all the time on all the major channels because I'm you know I'm part of this whole tribe. I'm in the chat. There are a lot of you that would love to get a reading, but they simply say they can't afford it. Okay, we don't want that. We want every we want tarot to be available and affordable for everyone. We don't want to make it like the um, like it is to go see a, a show. You know, it's two hundred dollars, and I'm not putting down the you know the people that charge that because they deserve it. They have big channels. They're very successful. However, I know that not everyone can afford that. You know, I charge. I charge the people around my my area. I live in a pretty affluent area. I'm not affluent, but I live in a pretty pretty affluent area. And I've been reading tarot for 25 years. And, you know, I charge according to income. However, um, I see, it breaks my heart to see soul tribers that would love readings, but they can't afford it. So I'm not trying to take money out of anyone's pockets. However, any Soul Tribe member that wants a reading and can't afford a reading, I would like for you to get in touch with me. I have a special rate for Soul Tribe members, which is 50 for half an hour and 75 for a full hour. And that's a great, great rate because most, most successful tarot readers, especially readers who have been reading as long as I have for 25 plus years, charge at least 100 for an hour. So please get in touch with me if you'd like a reading. My email is soultherapywithladyd at gmail.com or you can find me on my website which is soultherapywithladyd.com. I'd love to help you and if even that's a little bit too much, I'm willing to work with you. We're going to go by the honor system, folks, though. You know, the one, you know, the people that can afford, you know, the more expensive readings, they will subsidize, subsidize for the ones that can't really afford it. But uh, like I said, I'm not trying to take money out of anyone's pockets. Listen, I, we're all struggling. I am not rich. We're all trying to pay our bills. 
And you know, I need to make a living too. However, we all need to pay it forward. We all need to use our talents to help people. I've even given free readings to people in the Soul Tribe who can't afford them. Now, I'm willing to do that. I won't do it all the time, but I'm willing to do that. Because I believe that if you pay it forward and if you give back, the universe takes care of you. Okay, so if you need a reading and you can't afford, you know, the made, if you can't afford, you know, big bucks for a reading, please get in touch with me. Um, and I've, I've been reading for 25 years, so <laughs> I know what I'm doing. You know, I'm, I'm not, you know, there's many wonderful readers online. And like I said, I'm not trying to take money out of anyone's pockets. I'm just trying to make it affordable because I feel a tarot reading and a psychic reading should be affordable to everyone, not just for the few. All right, Soul Tribe. So get in touch with me. Soul Therapy at Lady, excuse me, Soul Therapy with Lady D at gmail.com if you would like a reading. Okay. I love you, Soul Family. I hope you have a blessed weekend. I'll probably do another biblical verse. But until then, stay well. I love you and God bless you.